Hello, thanks for tuning in and joining me on yet another project. In today's build, I want to show you guys how I go about making a super easy, relatively inexpensive mobile workbench. Uh, my wife and I have a one car garage which spans about 18 feet by 18 feet, which is enough room for a part time hobbyist like myself. Although it is nice having a, a workbench that's on casters that I can move around, clean, uh, vacuum up sawdust, and grab the tools that I have stored underneath. Uh, let me show you what I'm talking about and where this new bench is going to go. As you can see behind me, my wife and I have this metal rack full of uh, black and yellow bins full of Christmas decorations, uh, yard games, bird food, and this bathtub that we were supposed to install like three years ago. So anyways, the plan is to remove all of these, put them outside in our outdoor shed, and then I'll be able to take some measurements on how long and wide that future workbench will be. And so yeah, like I said, should be fun, should be cheap. Uh, I gotta go to Home Depot and get some materials, but hope you guys stay tuned and let's get to work. As you can see, I have this sort of weird cutout where a door used to be that I just uh, cheaply put up some drywall just to cover it up. And then we have part of the brick that comes out here. And so I'm not really sure how the workbench is going to go. I'm thinking of maybe like a big whiteboard right here to cover this area. Not really sure, but um, yeah, we'll see how it goes. So the measurement of this current workbench is 35 inches. And so when you're making your workbench, make sure that you account for both the casters. And for me, I have a three quarter inch uh, top. And so just add those up together, which is uh, three, and a, three, and three and a quarter. And so my measurement for the leg will be 31 inch, 31 and three quarters.
Off camera, I did the exact same thing as the top of the structure with the two and a half inch pocket screws and wood glue. Although I did make it a little bit smaller because I wanted it to fit on the inside of the structure. Plus I added some center supports. Instead of using wood glue, I opted to use this uh, fast drying CA glue. Uh, I just wasn't sure how the wood glue would react to the weird whiteboard material, and so the CA glue worked just great.
think I'm going to call this one a wrap. Um, as you can see with limited tools and for about 120 bucks, you can build something like this very quick and easily. I'm extremely excited on, on how it turned out. Not only do I have more storage for all my tools, which I'm sure I'll shuffle around and play with down the road, but I also have this phenomenal outfeed uh, table for my miter station, as well as this cool little funky whiteboard that I just used to cover the old door. Um, so yeah, I hope this inspires you guys to do something similar. I hope you guys like and subscribe. And I do want to take a quick second just to thank all of you who have been following me these past few months on this creative YouTube endeavor of mine. Uh, very much just a part-time hobbyist that does all of this on my spare time. But I'm so appreciative of all the love and support that I've received um, since I started my first YouTube three or four months ago. So yeah, I'm really excited about the future. I hope you guys follow me along on future builds. I'll catch you on the next one. Bye.